And that confidence, I mean, it, it jumped off of the screen watching him. And then the next step is you evaluate his stuff, 92, 93. Okay, maybe that doesn't light up a radar gun, but the ex-catcher in me, the old beat-up catcher, is watching the swings against him, and that fastball was getting on some of the hitters. Big time 12-6 to curveball, which is a weapon. Uh, I think the next step for him is to be able to drop that in there for strike one and get me over breaking ball. I like the change up, but I think... I think for me, it was the body language and the confidence that told me this young kid at 21 years old, he believes he belongs in the big leagues, and obviously with that performance, he does. Uh, he'll probably get another start against Baltimore in that doubleheader, and rightfully so. He deserves it. Well, Sam Bren, the Yankees pitching director, Flash, he said that the problem with Garcia uh, and his ascension was his fastball command, and you just touched on it there, but it just seemed like there was a little bit of a late giddy-up. He was registering yeah. nine. 93, 94 on the gun, but it seemed to be getting in there and it seemed to be rising. So how successful, how much more successful can he be with that command than a rising fastball? Well, I think a lot of what he does, the way he turns his back on the hitter and he has some deception there, that's going to add to the spin rate and the deception and the fastball getting on some of the hitters. But I'm really glad you brought up how he was pounding the strike zone because the little bit that I saw in summer camp and then some of the numbers from last year in AAA, he was walking a lot of batters. He was kind of scattering the ball all over the place, and I thought David Cohn did a great job of breaking him down. The move from the third base side Absolutely, of the pitching rubber yeah. to the first base side, and, you know, I'm not a pitching guy. I, you know, only worked with these guys, but I wonder if that little adjustment just opened things up for him because watching those six innings and him b pounding the strike zone, you would never have imagined that there would have ever been any sort of control problems in the minor leagues. So whatever adjustment he's made, and I I've said this multiple times, times you have to give the the coaching staff at the alternate site a lot of credit to keep these guys motivated to keep them working hard in order to get to the big leagues but also some of the adjustments that they're making down there they're paying dividends at the big league level